It took 33 years, but a child predator will finally pay for his crimes. Nicholas Morales was sentenced yesterday to 15 years in prison. It comes only after his victim, his niece, fought tirelessly to make him pay, taking her case all the way to the state Supreme Court. He robbed me of my childhood. He um, silenced me at a very young age. You know, he was given, he was put in a position to protect, and he violated that. That is why Tanya has worked so hard for so many years to get justice. Now she's got it. Her uncle, Nicholas Morales, who she says raped her repeatedly when she was a child in the 1970s and 80s, was sentenced yesterday to the maximum allowed under a plea agreement. That agreement, which she approved, reduced rape charges to attempted rape and child molestation. When he handed down the sentence, just relief, relief that it was finally over and that I could put it behind me and that I can close this chapter of my life and move forward. Morales's case is unique and set a precedent in New Mexico. You see, there used to be a 15-year statute of limitations on rape. When Morales was finally charged in 2005, nearly 30 years after the crimes, the statute had run out. But Tanya took her case all the way to the state Supreme Court, where justices agreed that a change in the law in 1997 was meant to be retroactive. I feel that justice has been served. Tanya is now ready to move on with her life. She says the judge did all he could with Morales' sentence given the circumstances. But a part of her still wishes more could have been done. He should have been in jail a long time ago. And had the right uh, protocol been followed, he would have. So it, the best years of his life are behind him. So in that sense, no, I don't feel that justice was served. But Tanya does take satisfaction in the fact that she helped bring about a major change in New Mexico. Now seeing the big picture, I'm grateful that I was able to make a difference at the Supreme Court level and um, that other countless families would receive the justice that they deserve as well. There are at least three rape cases currently being prosecuted as a result of the ruling in Tanya's case. Among them, the Etherman rapes that occurred in Albuquerque in the 1990s. Suspect Robert Bruce was linked to those attacks two years ago by DNA. The district attorney is currently working on a plea deal in that case. As for Morales, he is at the Central New Mexico Correctional Facility in Los Lunas. His attorneys were pushing to have him placed in a geriatric unit because he's old and ill. He will have to serve at least six years before being eligible for parole.